Hey, this is Swaggers. This is a full achievement guide for No One Escapes Alive. We have finished it on the Mob of the Dead. What you need to do is you need to get all five plane parts up to the roof and put the plane together, and then you just take off into the wild blue, uh, blue yonder. So I'm going to show you um, what you need to do first is you need to get the Warden's Key um, because this does everything, and it's either going to be right here um, above Cafeteria so you could do this in a two for here because we also want to open the door that goes down to laundry. So you're going to go into afterlife. Um, we're going to blaze in here, levitate with A, levitate, and then uh, jump back, levitate, uh, zap this, and this opens the door downstairs. So if you haven't already, you'll get your, uh, your first achievement there. And then what we need to do is go over here and jump above the cafeteria. Fuck. And then shock this, and that'll drop the key uh, for you to pick it up. Now, this is one of the two locations that we have seen it. And whoever picks up the key, doesn't matter. Everyone gets it. So it's dropped down, and we grab this nice, shiny Warden's key. Okay, so the second place that it could spawn is in front of the warden's office and how we're going to get there is uh there's just a door but we're going to shock ourselves again and again there's two things to do one we're going to want to open the warden's door and two we're going to get the key shock him look up there we go jump in here and then shock this to drop the key and then make sure don't forget to go around the full side to the back to open the door to the wardens. Now there is a plane part inside the warden's office, but you need to turn the power on first. So we're going to skip that one for now, and we're going to base this on going down to the showers. Down here to do the this thing. is where the first piece is, which is the close. Uh, use the key to open the door. Then, of course, someone has to die and to turn the power on for the laundry. So we're going to go around to the back here where we can do this. Your options are obviously the to do this on purpose or you can just continue to play and as someone goes down they can unlock stuff for you we're trying to get it done ASAP so I went down go over zap it and then you've got to um, hit the button to turn on the laundromat there Somebody's got a sound. which you saw face do there oh he didn't do it and it does take a little bit. You got to wait for it to go. You got to keep going, and then when it's done, it'll open, and the clothes will be yours. And as you can see, the clothes pieces are uh, one per uh, one per person. So you are gonna have to do a little back and forth. Okay, now this is further along on the way down to power. You have to take yourself out there, and this is for the rope. And then as you go down, the code to the door, which will change, is gonna be on the wall. So this my code was eight. Four, and then five. And so then you come down here, you use the key to open this, and then you shock it till the code is right. This is also timed. If you do not get the rope fast enough, it will go back up, and it'll be a whole new code. So you'll have to redo it. So then uh, go back and get your body, and you can see there the, the uh, elevator dropped. I already did it. Pretty fucking cool. Boom. Get all the way up here. I'm like, there's a zombie. Yeah, so just wait a second. Let me see what it is. Let me get back to my guy. Okay. And obviously someone else could be grabbing it. I just wanted to get it on video. So then we're going to blaze. I'm saying blaze a lot. I don't know where blaze came from. Uh, we're going to run down here, probably just from the electrical. It's kind of cool. But that's not really blazing, is it? It's electric. Okay, so then we're going to continue a little long, and the Uzi is right here in the wall, which is a nice low-level weapon to have. And then you come down here. This is a dead end if this isn't here. And then there's the rope, which I cannot pick up because I already have the clothes. So someone else has to grab it. Boom. That's two parts done of five. Now we're going to actually turn power on. That's pretty much the next room in the next little area. What you do for power is there are three controllers you need to overload. They all go into the generator. And you have to be in afterlife. Yeah, Two of the generators are right here. Two of one of them is inside a side afterlife area. So shock that. Come around. Shock here. Oh no 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 no. And then go in here and in the back corner, 
final shock, and that takes care of them, and power is on. So from here, now we need to head out to the docks, which again is the very next door. This one is a little bit tricky. You have to be in afterlife, of course. Um, but what you do is the person in afterlife gets the door open. Someone grabs the part, and then the person in afterlife has oh, to redo it again. So you can see here, use the key to open the first gate, which has already been done. We have the key. And then you go in here. Someone's oh, got to get round. downed. Oh, yeah, we all do. And there are ways to down yourself in here. Okay, so I need someone with me in here. So Killer's going to come in with me because he doesn't have someone a part. Make sure you one. ask. We did this once, and the guy's like, oh, I already have something. And it was just completely wasted. So Killer Man's in here with me. You shock the door open for him. If it wants to open. There we go. Then he grabs that part, which he didn't do. He said, I got it. I'm like, no, you didn't, you didn't get it. It's sitting there. I'm looking at it. What are you talking about? You did. There's a fucking part right there. <laughs> it's the fucking part right there. Okay, he gets that. And then he comes back to back you. You gotta get back in this section, killer. You in this section? Oh my god. You're gonna, you're gonna fuck us again. Okay, and then you shock the door okay, open, back open that side. You can get trapped right, in here. Now we gotta get um, if you don't have someone who can shock and get through, um, you can be trapped in there. Okay, so then the warden's office, we've gotten the key again, I'm just showing you that section, but you go into the warden's office, and now that the power is on, you can see that this is electrified here, if the power is on, that electricity turns off, doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's how it runs, um, and then you can walk in there and get the engine. Now the final part is the valves, it is up in the infirmary, which is through the cafeteria, kind of go around the walls here. This is also where we're going to pop part. up to the roof. Oh, I got the shirt. Someone's going to have to come upstairs get this part. And this part's real easy. It's right out in the open. This is one of the um, mod parts there, the acid gat kit. In the cafeteria. Okay, so right here, and there's where a dog will spawn, but right here is the valves. And someone's obviously got to be carrying that. And now all we need to do is we need to get access to the roof, which is right in this area. We got everything but one part now already. Everything is shocked to turn on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you where to get access to the roof in that same room we were just in. Need an afterlife token, obviously. And then just uh, blaze in... Back where, please, back where we came from, there's now a portal here. Do a little levitate jump. You'll pull yourself up to the roof. Shock the power supply here, and the door opens. And um, come back to get my body. And now we can start putting the parts on the plane. And obviously, you can do this at any time because it is going to take um, more than one trip because with four people, there's five parts. It says hold X to unlock. That's, I don't know, it glitched. On me, it didn't stop me from doing it. I'm like, Is someone got two thousand dollars to do this. What's going on here? Um, but you just need to put the part in there. If it says this, just stand in the back and put the part in there. And then when all every part is in, um, it'll be a little thing to say, "Hey, everyone, come on, do it." Who's got two grand? Who's blue? I'm like, where's the, who's got two grand? I'm like, let me just try it. We'll get right at the plane. Hold that. Well, I'm building. Yep. Say it was just a glitch on me. So now we just needed that okay, um, engine ward. part we that I showed you. Maybe that the other so one person goes back and gets that. On there. They put it on there. The roof, the plane is complete, and then just stand near the back, and it will say, uh, to begin, X? press X to begin tech off, no, and you'll jump on there, and everyone needs on. to jump on here, and then the plane will We're take off. Now, guess what? This is cycle one. I'm going to end it here. Uh, we're at 10 minutes. Um, what happens is you're going to take off here. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. And you are going to crash onto the bridge. You know what? I think this is cycle one. I think we're going to be redoing. Boom. You're going to crash onto the bridge. Um, you're going to have to take out Brutus. But there is no one escapes alive, 75 gamer score, and we will tell you how to do the next cycles in the next video. But there is part one completed and the achievement completed, but we still have a lot more to do to uh, get all the achievements.